C2E2, and I'm here with Mr. Anderson, TNA superstar and former WWE superstar. How are you enjoying the con, Anderson? It's awesome. It's awesome. Really awesome. I've seen some really cool costumes. I've seen some really awful costumes. Yeah, well, you got to take the good with the bad, right? Yeah. I, yeah. Well, what I love about the cons is that nobody cares. Everybody's just mm. here to have a good time, and yeah, nobody yeah. judges anybody or anything. You know what I mean? It's just mm. like... And Here I, I am. Yeah, well, and I, I gotta say, there's no microphones. I can't see any microphones. Did they not allow you to bring any? I just didn't bring one. I didn't, uh, I didn't think. Well, that's kind of stupid, huh? Yeah, you know, hey, sometimes you forget. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes I forget. It's okay. More often than not. Mm -hmm. well, I'm seeing you're here with Al Snow and Kevin Nash. Yes, sir. Uh, have you guys put on any clinics lately? Oh, there's Al Snow. No, he. Any fights break out yet or no? No, not yet, not yet. No, well, all I mean, just warm embraces all right. around. And well, Al told hugs. me that uh, they got a security guard ready with a tranquilizer gun. For uh, Kevin, for Big Sexy over there? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, you sure not get any any confrontations with these guys? Can you take them? Uh, I love them both, so. Yeah, all right. <laughs> well, love them like brothers. Yeah, it's good to know. The wrestling's family, right? It is. It, we are. We're a big family. So. And you're. Everybody you're. Pretty much knows everybody. You're still currently a TNA superstar, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. I gotta ask. What is your plans going forward? Are you gonna try and go back for the world title? Is there a chance for you going for the X division title? You gonna find yourself a partner, get tag team titles? Um. Or are you just here to kick ass? I'm just here to kick ass, and you know, if there's gold involved, that's a great thing. I'll take it. It's sort of like icing on the cake. Obviously, mm -hmm. that's what everybody strives for is, is that yeah. world championship. But uh, you know, yeah, I'm here to kick ass and I mean, have fun. And I mean, the we, current state the TNA is in. Yep. When your contract expires, are you going to renegotiate, or are you going to try and look elsewhere? No, I, I'm 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 staying with TNA staying. for at least three more years. So. Oh wow. Well. You know what? That's how long my contract is, so. Yeah, I'll be watching. Is that? Yeah, this is one fan with me. And, uh. Oh, great. I lost my train of thought. Right. Thanks, Mr. Anderson. See what I do? Yeah. See what I do to people? Right. Now I remember since That's I brought. My Jedi mind tricks. Ah, mind tricks, everything. Yeah, since I brought up WWE, you won the money in the bank in 2003. No, sorry, not 2003, 2007. But you never had the opportunity to cash it in because of an injury. Right. Do you think if you hadn't got that injury and you had cashed in, won the world title or WWE title, do you think you still would have stayed with WWE or no? I, I don't know. You know what? Uh, things are the way that they are and, and uh, you know. Yeah. Chips fall where they may? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you know. Yeah, I got to say, though, out of every wrestler that I've interviewed, you're the you're the most relaxed, you're really? the most chill. Yeah, you're the one where I hear that a lot. Everybody expects me to be like this big, mouthy, loud, and, obnoxious, uh, an asshole, an asshole, yeah, an asshole. And uh, yeah, it's very laid back. Oh, yeah, it's laid back, dude. Yeah, I, I think it's probably the best the best personality you can have going into wrestling. But I gotta say though, I'm looking over here and I see your slogan: "Pro wrestling is real, people are fake." No. How did how did that become your slogan? Well, that's actually. Uh, the guy that trained me, uh, I think he found it somewhere, and I just and, and he used to sell the shirts at indie shows, and uh, I remember thinking that's brilliant, um, and I really liked the saying. And so, when I got to TNA, I pitched it as an idea for a T-shirt, and you know, thankfully they were willing to to take to take a chance, and that's what it was. You know, they they had never really. Thought of a shirt like that before. Yeah. Nobody had ever done anything like that. So, I, I, I gotta say it's brilliant. It's, it's a good quote. It's genius. I didn't make it up. I wish yeah. I could take credit for it, credit for it, but I can't. Hey, yeah, you're the one using it, so technically you are getting credit for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, thank you so much for this yep. interview. You're welcome. You've been great. Yep. Hope you enjoy the rest of the con. I will enjoy the rest of the con. Thank and, you very much. Uh, that comes from. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. Anderson. Anderson.